Hi there, this is a video in the series accompanying the Joomla tutorial developing an MVC component and in this step we're going to be looking at adding categories. Now, As you're probably aware, Joomla comes with the ability of uh, being able to assign categories to various sorts of things and the structure of the categories table is a bit as depicted in this diagram here. So we can define categories for articles or categories for banners or categories for different sorts of components <clears throat> but they're all kind of kept separate in the categories table and um, it's really one kind of partition of the table for each component in the uh, system there. So we could have for example an article category of special and a banner category of special and they've got the same name but you're going to have two different records one in the articles uh, partition and one in the banners partition and within those partitions we can have a sort of hierarchy of um, categories so they can be structured in a hier hierarchical sort of fashion so uh, Joomla already comes with the ability to set up categories for our hello world component and what we're going to do in this step is we're going to use that and we're going to define our hello world table a link to the categories table so we're going to um, extend our record structure so that we can have a, a cat ID which points to a category in that table now if we go back to the tutorial um, as it says here there are various strands to doing this but to be honest, a lot of this is kind of more of the same of what we've been doing already. So there's not a great deal uh, which is very kind of new and, and challenging in this one. And hopefully you'll find that yourself. Uh, admittedly, there is something new around the ACL, but we're going to be covering ACL in a couple of steps. So we'll leave that for now. So the other, only other thing that is really significantly new is the sidebar. So it's this thing here that comes in. And the significant thing about this is that if you click on the categories there, you see up the top that this is running the com categories option. So here we are actually not in com hello sort of land, we're in com categories land, we're running the categories component. So all of this stuff here is really coming from the com categories. And the only um, bit of R code that is running in the hello world arena is the code that actually generates this little sub menu here. And we can see that a little bit better if we go to Eclipse. Now this is Eclipse, which as um, you're probably aware is an integrated development environment, IDE. And the advantage of using an IDE is that, well, one of the big advantages is that you can have a debugger. And I've set it up so that xdebug is running on our server and uh, so it enables me within Eclipse to kind of debug the code. Now getting this set up can be a bit tricky so what I might do is actually uh, put a little video tutorial on on this particular page how to debug your code um, at some point. There are a number of other kind of pages under Joomla about getting um, IDs set up with, for the Joomla environment sort of thing. So what I've done is I have just imported my hello world uh, kind of live files. This is all the live instance files down here. Just imported that as a PHP uh, project into Eclipse um, and I've set uh, xdebug on the server side of things. So it does enable me to debug the code so if I go through to here and this is just resume it's it's stopped at this first line on uh, Joomla here if I just go to resume it'll probably prompt me to log in uh, 
and then it will stop a number of times. And then I've got to the control panel. And if I do components hello world, it's obviously going to stop again because it stops every time. And <clears throat> what I've done here is I've set um, a breakpoint in this code. Now, this is our code which adds the little submenu. So whenever I've clicked on Hello World, it's had to build that submenu. So as part of that, it has gone through this code and I've got a little breakpoint there. Um, and I've hit resume, so that is actually um, built that little menu. However, what happens if I go to categories and click on it? This is the start of the code. And it has broke, is, it has stopped at this line again. But if you have a look up here, you can see as it were the, the stack trace. So you can see that we're actually within com hello world helpers, hello world.php. That's our little helper file which builds the um, submenu. But where that has been called from is the com categories code. You can see that. Um, now in here we can view our variables up here. So for example, we have got submenu set to categories. So being in the debugger allows us to view the uh, variables which are in scope. And we can go and step through the code. This is step over. So I'm just going to do that and it'll go through the code. And obviously, as we go through the code and things are set up, um, we can look at those things in our variables over here. And then if we use this, which is a step return, so we will go back to the calling function and we see that we have got into categories.php and the file there is com categories so that's where this has been called from and if we go out again we get back to components so we're, we've got back to the controller of com categories so as i say this is really just demonstrating that um you know that little sidebar is code is being called from the com categories component not from the hello world component when we do that to click on the on the categories um, menu and that's the reason why it needs to be defined so precisely because um we have to kind of abide by the the standard uh, kind of rules that are in place for naming of those things within joomla so that's that as I said, there's not a lot of other stuff to go through, but um, some just a couple of suggestions if you wanted to try a, a couple of extra things. If you go to components and banners, see this submenu here, and go to banners. And we've also got a sidebar here. And this little submenu here matches this here. So one of the things you might like to do is to try and set it up so that we have got a little sub menu here for Hello World that matches what we get in our sub menu down here, messages and categories, so that we should be able to go on to components, Hello World, and do messages or categories there. Now you'll perhaps remember that this menu here is defined in our manifest file our xml file um, so you might guess that the submenu is defined in there as well and if you look at the banners xml file 
you'll see how it's defined and you can try doing that for hello world as well. The other thing is that if I go again to the banners side of things and do these search tools, you see select status, which selects whether it's published or unpublished, but it's also got select category. So I've put in some dummy categories here and I can select a category and then it just displays that category. So that's the other thing you might like to do is when you go into component um, hello world and into messages in our search tools, can you put another little box there for our um, to select our category? And again, if you go into com banners and look at the code there, you should be able to see it. OK, um, just in case you're still a bit unsure about <clears throat> what I'm suggesting, I'll, I'll show you this. So I actually develop this um, so that you can see it. So now if we go into components, hello world, we've got that little sub menu there. And that will take us to the same place, basically, as these here. And then if I click on messages, I've got an alternative for search tools, which allows me to set up the category. And then it just shows the category there. OK, that's about it. Um, hope you find it interesting. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.